Today we're looking at Sarah Josepha Hale. Hello, welcome to the Daily Bell Ringer. Please don't forget to subscribe and take a look at the questions down in the description. Also, don't forget to check out dailybellringer.com for more resources that go with many of the Bell Ringer videos. Sarah Josepha Hale was one of the most influential women of the 1800s in America. As a poet, writer, and magazine editor, she used her influence to advocate for the abolition of slavery, preserve historic sites in America, and start a national holiday. Sarah was born Sarah Josepha Buell on October 24, 1788 in Newport, New Hampshire. Her parents were Martha and Gordon Buell, who was a veteran of the American Revolution. Despite the culture of the time which said that girls should not receive equal education to boys, her parents wanted all of their children, whether male or female, to receive an equal education. So Sarah was homeschooled and had various tutors as she was growing up. As Sarah grew up to be an adult, she decided to become a school teacher. In 1811, when Sarah was about 23 years old, she met David Hale, who was an attorney in Newport. On October 23rd of 1813, they were married and they would go on to have five children together. But in 1822, David died suddenly. Sarah never remarried and for the remainder of her life, she wore black as a sign of her mourning for her husband. In 1827, she published her first book titled Northwood, Life, North, and South. The book was one of the first in America to tackle the issue of slavery as Hale focused on how the institution of slavery dehumanized people. Her book was also among one of the first books in America to be written by a woman. Shortly after, in 1828, she became the editor of the Ladies' Magazine, published in Boston. Within the magazine, she argued in favor of equal education for women. In 1830, she published a set of poems titled, Poems for Our Children. In this set of poems, she wrote arguably the most famous children's poem of all time, Mary Had a Little Lamb. In 1837, the Ladies' Magazine was purchased by Gotti's Ladies' Book. Hale remained the editor and would basically be the editor of the magazine for the rest of her life, not retiring until 1877 at the age of almost 90. Throughout those years, she continued writing and published several books as well as countless articles. Again, within many of her articles, she stressed the importance of education and especially higher education for women as she advocated for women to attend college. In fact, she aided in founding Vassar College, the second all-female college in the country in 1861. She also wrote as a historian, publishing her book, Women's Record, Sketches of All Distinguished Women from the Creation to A.D. 1854, as a historical record of notable women in history. Hale's commitment to preserving history went beyond simply her writings. She led efforts to preserve several important historic sites. She helped raise $30,000 to complete the Bunker Hill Monument at the site of the Battle of Bunker Hill in Boston. She also helped to raise money and supported the preservation of George Washington's home, Mount Vernon. But probably what Hale is most famous for is that many attribute to her the creation of the national holiday of Thanksgiving. Of course, she wasn't there at the first Thanksgiving, of course, with the Pilgrims and the Wampanoag back in 1621. But after that first Thanksgiving, the holiday became very in inconsistent, with some states celebrating it while others didn't. In New England, it was a yearly holiday, so growing up, Hale had always celebrated Thanksgiving. For over 30 years, she had written articles advocating for the holiday as being a national holiday as she believed it would help in easing growing tensions between the North and the South. Hale wrote to lawmakers at the state level and at the national level trying to get the holiday officially recognized. It wasn't until Hale wrote President Abraham Lincoln at the height of the Civil War in 1863 that someone finally listened. The Union had recently had a pivotal victory at the Battle of Gettysburg, and so Lincoln made a proclamation on October 3, 1863, designating an official holiday on the last Thursday of November each year. Hale retired from being an editor in 1877 at the age of 89. She died two years later in 1879 on April 30th in Philadelphia. Hale's legacy as an advocate for women's education, preserving history, and for eating turkey at the end of November each year has had a strong influence on American history and society. So with that, hopefully you learned something, and thanks for watching.